everybody! It's Mailbag Day! I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince! Vince, it's time for the mail. Indeed. We got just two packages to talk about this time. And decided to go ahead and do this and not wait for any other packages because we're going on hiatus. So, would you stop it? So we decided that we would go ahead and talk about the couple things we have. So this will be a short one. Uh, the first one comes from, I'm probably going to pronounce this guy's name wrong. Uh, he, his, his, his name is, uh, is, is Jay... Horichuk, he's from Canada, and I apologize, I don't remember the, the viewer's name. He told me he was going to send this, and I should have gone back and, and, and looked for his message, but we get a lot of messages, and I didn't write this down anywhere, so it would have taken me forever to find it. Anyway, feel free to leave a comment and say, hey, that's, many, that's me, guys, you jerks. So anyway, I'm really sorry about that, uh, but he kindly sent us a copy, which I didn't have, of Superman Shazam Return of the Black Adam. Have you seen this? Uh, yeah. I've seen this too and quite enjoyed it. Uh, did you like this? It was okay. I mean, it was a series of shorts, right? It is. You know, I just mean that short. But yeah, yeah, yeah it was a series of shorts. Uh, this had that, and then it had the Jonah Hex, the Green Arrow, and the Spectre shorts, which were all on other uh, DC direct video features. They, they were, they were, it was a special feature you got, and they've done a couple more since then now. They've done a Catwoman one, and I think maybe there was even one other, I forget now, but... Yeah. I thought it was creative. I thought it was fun. I thought it was neat. I kind of wish they would have done something a little bit different with some of them. I kind of wish... Uh, this, I thought, was about as good as it could be. I That's thought, what I thought. I thought uh, I thought Captain America... Captain America? I thought Superman and Shazam, Captain Marvel, were uh, were really solid together. I thought I thought the short was fun. I thought it was a good introduction to the character, if you don't know who he is, too. Yeah. Personally. I thought... Uh, I really enjoyed Jonah Hex. I thought that was pretty much spot on to what Jonah Hex should be. Uh, the Spectre one was okay, and uh, I like the Green Arrow one more than a lot of yeah, people Green did. Yeah, but... Green Arrow is pretty cool. You know what they did wrong with the Spectre, I think, is what they thought was everybody would like. The uh, the Spectre, they shot like a grindhouse, but what was cool about the series that, or at least I'm presuming that this thing was based on, because uh, it, it, a, a lot of it seemed to be drawn from it, was uh, the comics seemed a lot more like a Tales from the Crypt, and that was 70s grindhouse. And, and kind of weird for what it was, too, because, I mean, it's a, you know, it's the Spectre. It's a, yeah, I don't it, know. It was okay. I mean, they, they did but, fine, but. Yeah, kind of weird as a sort of a hard-boiled detective kind of thing. I mean, yeah, like you said, it's ground, it, it's Greenhouse, but I felt like there was a little bit of that hard-boiled thing going on yeah, also. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it was it was a strange mix of things. But still, I thought it was a solid movie, and, and thanks for sending it. Yeah, we really appreciate it. We're right. reviewing it right now. Thanks, thanks a bunch. So I will try to put that uh, on my short list soon, and make sure to do that. By the way, let me say real quick that we're getting a lot of movies in the mail right now, and and uh, that and, and thank you very much. I'm I, I'm 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 in no way whatsoever um, trying to uh, discourage anyone from doing that. But but what I did want to mention is here pretty soon with that and the uh, influx of uh, of Geeks United subscriptions. We've had a lot of people sign up for Geeks United, by the way, uh, which means a lot of movies I have to review because I promised everybody a review and I said 12 months. But good lord, I don't know if I'm going to get it done that fast. Let me just say I'm I'm, I'm doing my best. But wow, there's a lot of them and, uh, and and thanks everybody, I really appreciate it. But to do them right, I can't rush them, you know, because I don't want them to just be. You know, hey, I wrote this really fast. Hope it doesn't suck, you know. So anyway... Uh, and then the guy did the thing, and it was cool. So to make a long story <laughs> short, uh, <laughs> this next package, I got like three more movies that I was asked to review. Uh, on top of another movie that this same guy, and I'll mention who it is in a minute, asked me to do for Keisha United. And so... Uh, Pretty soon, I think I'm going to have to just do a whole bunch of recommended rewinds all in a row, just to, just to knock some of these out. So I just want everybody to know that pretty soon there's going to be a lot of recommended rewinds, and it's all lots of different varying genres, a really interesting mix of things. I think everybody's really going to enjoy it, so I just wanted to mention that, that that's what I'm doing pretty soon. And, um, I don't know, maybe I can... Maybe I can get Vince to do one or two of them. Um, okay, so anyway, maybe not. So, uh, <laughs> next up is uh, another package from Magpie. Uh, Magpie 2541, I think is his numbers. I'm forgetting... Yeah, 2541. He sends us so much stuff, I know that. Um, but anyway, uh, Magpie is, uh, is, one of our, is one of our best viewers. He sends us stuff all the time. He's so neat to do this. And he lives in Australia, so he's sending us these packages from like the... Farthest away you can send back. Man, Magpie, you are hardcore. Yeah, he's really neat. 
Magpie is trying to uh, educate me in Australian culture. He wants me to understand what it's like to be an Aussie, it seems. Because uh, he keeps sending me these Australian films, and now he sent, he sent us these. And let, let, me, let, me say, let me tell him what he says. Uh, Captain Logan, Vincent, and Sarah, I'm sending you three movies. Eric Bana's first film, The Castle, which I've never seen, so that'll be interesting, Sweet. which is also Australia's favorite film. Ned Kelly, based on the life of Australia's most famous outlaw, and Heath Ledger's best performance apart from The Dark Knight, and I'm not, and I'm not seeing that either. That's totally on my Netflix queue. I, uh, cool. I'm so interested in that movie. Yeah, well, now you get to watch it because we've got a copy. While this is mostly true, it leans more in favor of Ned, so just remember that when watching it, and the love story in it is complete fiction. <laughs> Lastly, Farlap, the hero of a nation, another true story, but this time mostly all fact. The only thing that isn't true to my knowledge is the Melbourne cop it has never been delayed. I would like you to review all the movies I've sent you. Also get your opinion on Australia cinema on the whole as well. Well, now that I will have watched like seven movies from you, I may know enough about Australian cinema to say something about it. Um, and then he says, keep up the work, the good work from Brennan Stewart, aka Magpie2541. And then he says, and honestly, this is like the coolest part of this for me. P.S. I'm also sending you the Australia slang dictionary. To help you understand the Australian lingo, look up what a gray ghost is. It's not the uh, the guy from Batman. So, um, <laughs> so 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 here's what we got. He 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 bought us brand new copies of these. This is really really cool of you, dude. Um, mm -hmm. So we're gonna learn about Australia, Vince. And Vince already knows quite a bit about Australia because he had to take an Australia lit course. Yeah. Back in college. Which, so by the way, the true history of the Kelly Gang. Super neat. Great book by Peter Carey. Here's the castle. And here is Ned Kelly. Indeed. And so you've not seen any of these? Uh, no. And here's Farlap. And the Aussie Slang Dictionary. <laughs> so now we're going to look up what a great ghost is, man. You know, what's funny is that uh, that's what my dad used to call my old car before it died. And uh, actually, I think it's what he still calls it because it died. And the gray ghost had a gray Dodge Intrepid. <laughs> oh really? Yep. You're not even making that up. Nope. I was I was driving back from a, from a Christmas vacation and uh, my car just up and died. I went oh, ice everywhere, perilous. I could have slid into like there was people in the ditch, like freaking car accidents everywhere, and that was probably the worst word I'll ever use on Geek Pollution. And <laughs> uh, <accident>? car accident? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, no. Since fire Since truck. <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing that. I'll just see what you say over there. <laughs> um, a great ghost is a parking inspector. Really? Yes. It's neat. We're gonna learn things. The great ghost. Okay, I know what a knuckle sandwich is, guys. Really. Anyway, um, so uh, thanks a lot for sending all this stuff. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, now I'm really backed up because th this is like seriously. Well, he sent us like six or seven movies now. So if these don't need the rewind treatment. You can do at least I'll do it on events versus. Okay, great, yeah. Yeah. yeah Email us, let us know if you just want them reviewed and you don't need the rewind, they can go on events versus. Yeah, and all and also let me open that up to other people for stuff as well, because I wouldn't mind doing some off the cuff movie reviews, some also. And I can review a lot more movies that way if I don't have to do all of them in the rewind style. No, I know I, I promise rewind style for all the stuff for Geeks United, so mm -hmm. um, if people really, really want that, of course that's what I'm gonna do because that's what I promised. But uh, but for some of these that we get sent that aren't necessarily our normal our normal thing, we can get these out a lot quicker if you don't mind us not necessarily doing doing big scripted stuff and uh, taking all the screenshots and that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, we're not being lazy. We're just saying that, you know, we can get it done. We can get more of them done if you don't mind some of them in that way. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, and that's how Vince does his. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot, everybody. We sure appreciate, as always, uh, you sending us stuff. And if you have anything you'd like us to review on the comic vault, or I I've got I've got those uh, those books from uh, those comics from King. I still need to review. Uh, oh, yeah. So hopefully I can get those done. I want saga? yes saga. saga. I want to do those on the the next. Uh, hopefully I haven't posted that by the time this goes up. But I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to post that on uh, new comic reviews this week. There's so many new comic reviews. Hopefully I get to it because we're about to take the hiatus. So anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to send us, uh, you can send it to our P.O. Box, and that's Geek Pollution. P.O. Box 14183, Lenexa, Kansas, 66285. 
Thanks, everybody, as always, for watching. We sure appreciate it. If you've not signed up for Geeks United and you're interested, uh, please go check that out. I think you're uh, going to, uh, to, to love it if you do sign up for it. We're sending a package of all kinds of really fun stuff, including my book and a random comic book, and you get a uh, you get your own rewind, and uh, you get a special GNN from us on a DVD. It's only 20 bucks. Everybody who's gotten it so far says they love it. People are really enjoying it. So uh, that's the deal there. Let me also mention, sorry, about Geeks United. If you sign up right now or after you're not going to get your package until August because we're going to be completely out of pocket for the entire month of July. Uh, we won't we won't be online at all. We won't be checking messages. We won't be. We've got things going on. Uh, we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to uh, to be sending out any packages. I'm not going to have eBay listed. Nothing. July. We're taking completely off from everything. So uh, feel free to go ahead and sign up. I'll take care of it when I get back. But just understand that I'm not going to be able to ship anything out until at least the second week of August, probably uh, maybe the first week, but. But certainly, certainly by the second week, I'll be able to start shipping things again. So anyway, thanks always for watching. Gavin Logan. And I'm Vince.